Okay. So this is the folder which we have created. And this is the content. And check in our content and a lot of things we can do. Right? We can search our content. Now when you click on content, you will have something called these two actions. And so you don't see it on the on the screen? Or shall I annotate you it here? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So when you click here, you will get a lot of options. Options are update content information, create shortcut, rename, move, copy, delete. I mean some operations, right? So and you can also preview the content information. So by clicking on that blue button, you can see the information that what is the metadata of the documents. Right? We'll get the information about the metadata, like what is content ID, revision, and all that. Again, click on actions, and then you will get to the metadata. Okay. Now, if you want to modify any data, how will you do that? Always on the top of the bar, you will see content actions. So there's a button called update. Now you can modify the values. Title, type, you can modify it like this. Now, other option that we have here is called checkout. Okay. Yeah. So checkout is a part of revision tracking. So how you will manage the revisions, okay, as Nathalian has asked me that how we will do manage the revisions. So now we are going into the revision, revision topic. So yeah. if you want to make a revision or if you want to create a new revision, you just click checkout. Okay. Now you will get the, the content is checked out for you. No other user can modify it. Now you can say my content server and my checked out content. Okay. Now this is the content information. Now you can check in the content. Now when you check in the content, so you can say name you have modified. The moment you check in, you don't have any primary file. You can just make it a uh, same file one dot png okay let me so i can click on one dot png or you can add one more file and then you can click check in okay now when you see click on content info you can see two documents i mean two version of the same document revision two revision one right this is what Revision one. And what is this? Revision two. Yeah. So uh, if uh, this is the case, then every time we uh, no. check in. No, your question, I, I got your question. Your question is every time we update it, will it create a revision? Hmm. No, revision for for making the revision a difference between revision and update. So when you update it, it won't create a rev new revision for you. But when you check out, then only the revision would be created. Okay, right, right. So just compare it with the version control system, right? In version control system, we have check in, check out, update, and all that on the same line. The same concept is is here. Now you can have the folder path as well, right? You have all the information with you. You have content actions. Add to folder as shortcut. Right? You can also get the format as well, image.png document. Now there's something called subscribe. So when you click on subscribe, if there's any version change, okay, then you will be notified through the 
email okay and the settings would be through your smtp server you can also subscribe the folder as well or you can subscribe the content as well so i have subscribed to this content whenever there is a revision change i will get the notification that this file has been changed so this is something when we do code check check in okay so this is called subscription of content now there is one more thing uh, so consider a scenario where there are more than 1 lakh documents and you want you are searching something so do you prefer to search on the same line i mean do you prefer to uh, again type the query select the drop down and all that or you can save the queries right so you can so for example you make any queries i say uh, title match start with te then wildcard okay and if i click search i'll get this document now what if if i save this search okay i'll save it i'll save it like test search so now this query is saved and i can go to my content server and my save queries and i can search it so again i will get the same content on the basis of the query so this is also yeah when we are searching yes. are we going to get are we going to do what are we going to get something yes i can't hear you properly i think it's something from your side is it Yeah. Uh, what I mean to say is that when we are searching, are we going to get the older versions revisions also? No, no, no. no. So th those are metadata. Those are in when you click on this content information, then you will get the detail. Because that, right? Because the document can have ten or fifteen versions, so it won't work like that, right? you can also click my subscription to get the document which you have subscribed to mm -hmm. okay yeah so these are some so this is called revision tracking revision management mm -hmm. so what things we have done in revisions are check in check out subscription okay how we can save our queries how we can search it right these are a part of revision tracking right any question about it shall we go with the new uh, new uh, topic yes okay great so the new topic is called user management right so here you have logged in with the web logic it's a default user we have logged in with the user so yeah how this user is coming i mean how we can create a new user how can i create a user mitra in the system mm -hmm. we can do it two ways mm -hmm. okay the first way is called external way where the user is coming from web logic or through ldap mm -hmm. so what we'll do is let me log in i can log in with my user so here you can go to security rams my ram okay you have something called user and groups yeah okay so i can create a new so i'll create mitra mitra 
So here you can use an LDAP as well, LDAP configuration for the user, but we don't have any LDAP setup. So we just go with the, our normal default. Password is welcome one, welcome one. Okay, click okay. So now user is created. Now this is one part. The user creation is one thing. And assignment of user to the group for the privileges is second thing. Okay, so we'll also talk about that. User and groups, you can click Mitra and then go to groups. So group, you have something called administrator. So administrator, let, let us log in now with the Mitra and let's see what will happen. If you log in with Mitra, you won't be able to access the admin section, right? Though you can log in, okay, though you have general permissions, but you don't have admin access. In order to get the admin access, you have to provide the group, admin group, and click save. Once you provide this admin group to the user, okay, save, save, wait for at least two or three minutes. Once you do this assignment, okay, immediately it won't reflect. Wait for two or three minutes or use some other browser and then this change will be there. Okay, so we just wait for two minutes. Or well, let me try now. Let's see whether it will be possible or not. No, it's, you have to wait for some time. I log in as Mitra. So guys, always remember, wait for some time or change the browser. Now you can see the administrator section as well, administration content management sector section as well. Yeah. So what is the reason you are, you can preview this section? The reason is that your Mitra user has administrator group. Now how to create those groups and how to restrict the permission we'll talk about in the next class. I'm just showing you how you can create a user yeah. right so these users are coming through web logic i in if you remember the architecture which i've showed you in the beginning i told you that the, uh, we have w web logic into the picture so that administration is done through web logic yeah are we clear here yes yes okay and you can click on the mitra to do certain configuration as well you can change the skins Could be like this. Okay, you can give it, give in the email ID. Okay, and timings, language, user location, all can be changed. Right. Default search count, shorting order, all these can be changed. And you can also see the account which will come into picture. You can also see the roles. Okay, roles is something which we'll discuss in the next class, not today.